Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a plant pot cover or plant cozy or a plant sweater or whatever you want to call them. So let's get started. I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. Please subscribe and click the notification bell. You can slow down the videos by clicking the gear icon below the video. I'm working with a 9mm crochet hook and you can either use two strands of worsted weight yarn or one strand of a chunky yarn. Start with a slip knot and you're going to work a foundation chain that is as tall as your pot. If you would like to have a cuff rolled down at the top, begin with a longer foundation chain than your pot. When you have the foundation chain the correct length, single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. One, two. So single crochet and single crochet in each stitch all the way across your foundation chain. All the way down the chain. Okay, I've worked all the way down the chain at the end of the row, chain one and turn, working only in the back side of the stitch and starting in the second stitch from the hook, single crochet in each stitch all the way down the row. All the way down the row. Okay, I worked all the way down the row. And the next row is going to be this bobbly row. So chain one and turn, single crochet in the first stitch, and we're still working only in the back side of the stitch, triple crochet in the next stitch. To make a triple crochet, yarn around the hook two times, insert the hook into the stitch, and pull up the loop. Now pick up the yarn, pull it through two. Pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, and then single crochet in the next stitch. And that will create this protruding stitch. Triple crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet in the next. So you're going to repeat across the row, triple, single, triple, single, triple, single, all the way across the row. Okay, I worked all the way across the row, and there's my row of baubles. So now we're going to repeat these three rows, two rows of single and one row with the bauble. So chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch all the way across the row, working only in the back side of the stitch. So you'll continue single crochet all the way across the row. You'll make one more row of single crochet and then you'll do one row of bobble. And you keep repeating that. So you keep working those three rows until you have a long rectangle that is long enough to wrap around the pot. And then you'll fold the work in half like this. going to pull my yarn through and then I'll hold the stitches together and matching the stitches I'm going to slip stitch to join this into a tube. So we're just going to work all the way down slip stitching to join this into a tube. like that, all the way down. Okay, like that. I've joined it to form a tube, and then you can slide it over your pot, and I made mine long enough to have a cuff. 
And if you have some leather tags, you can sew that on as a decoration. But if you don't have tags, you can make some like this. And it's just a square of felt with a button sewn over it. And this one has black felt with a brown button. And then this was white felt and I stained it with some coffee. So here it is with a brown tag and with the light felt and the brown button. And there you go. That's how easy it is to crochet some covers for your plant pots. And you could make them in any color and use up your scraps of yarn. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.